RTP is a very popular protocol that allows users to upload and download files easily. You can configure your RTP server rule in Windows Server 2022 by installing RTP server rule on it. In this lab guide, I'll show you the step-by-step -step process of installing and configuring RTP server rule in Windows Server 2022. Let's press Ctrl Alt Delete key combination to sign into Windows Server 2022. Type the administrator account password and press Enter key. The system logs on the administrator user account and the server manager console appears automatically. At first, we will install the AppTV server role on our domain controller. In server 2022, you can install AppTV server role under the IIS server rule. So let's get started. On dashboard, click on add rules and features. Click next on before you begin window. Select rule base of feature base installation and click next. Select the server where you want to install and configure AppTP service. This is going to be our domain controller DC1. Click next. On select server rules, we need to select a web service, which is IIS. Let's select it. Click on add features to add required features for web service. Click next. On features page, we don't need any additional features. So simply click next again. Here we can see brief information about IIS service, which is available in Windows Server 2022. Click next. On select rule services, make sure you select FTP. We need to select this checkbox in front of FTP server. FTP service and also I'm going to select this checkbox to add FTP extensibility as well. So we can't install only FTP service on Windows Server 2022. We need to install IIS service as well. Okay. Click next and click on install. FTP service has been successfully installed on our domain controller. I'm going to click on close to close this window. After installing FTP server rule, open the Internet Information Services Manager console to manage FTP sites. So on Server Manager console, click on Tools and then select Internet Information Services Manager. Let me maximize it. Expand our server name, which is DC1 in my case. And then again click on Sites and expand it. And here we can see the default website, which is created automatically when we have installed IIS service on Windows Server 2022. To create a new FTP site, we need to right click on Sites and click on Add FTP Site. Now type the name for this FTP site and specify the location of that folder where the files will be stored for this FTP site. Uh, let me open File Explorer and uh, go to C drive. On C drive, create a new folder named FTP content. Let's right click, select new, select folder and give name FTP content. So you want to store all FTP related data under this folder. Let me double click on it. Uh, here I'm going to create one folder. Let's give name FTP data and I'm also going to create one uh, text file. Okay, let's save it. So under this FTP content folder, uh, I have created one file and one folder for test purpose. And these files can be accessed via FTP client by users once we set up the FTP site. So I'm going to minimize it and let's click on this three dots to select the location, which is going to be on a C drive folder name FTP content. Click next. Now configure the IP address of this server. You can go with all assigned IP addresses on this server. But suppose if you have assigned multiple IP addresses to your server and you want to select specific IP address, that time you need to click here 
and select the specific IP address where you want to bind the FTP site. In my case, it is going to be 192.168.96.11. The port number is already mentioned there, that 21. So this IP address will be used by client to access this FTP site. Make sure you have selected this checkbox to start FTP site automatically once you finish the wizard. And I'm also going to select this radio button in front of no SSL. Okay, click next. On the authentication, we have options to choose from anonymous authentication and basic authentication. So here I'm going to select basic authentication. Basic authentication doesn't use encryption mechanism. So the username and password are going to be sent in clear text format. By default, basic authentication matches username password from Active Directory database, or you can create user accounts in IIS as well. Under authorization, we need to allow access to. So let me click on this drop down arrow and select all users. So we have selected all users to allow FTP access to all users of our domain must be noob.lab. And let's select the permissions read and write. So we want to grant all users from our domain read and write permission on our FTP site. Remember, you can also customize permission at folder level as well. For example, if you want to set up the customized permission, then you can customize it or at uh, this folder level as well. Okay. Now I'm going to click on finish to complete the wizard and this will create one FTP site named MBN FTP. Now to test this, let's browse the FTP server from our client machine. So let's go to our Windows 11 client computer where we have login using the credential of our user Rachin Ravindra. Okay, on client computer, let's open file explorer and type the FTP URL, which is going to be FTP colon double slash 192.168.96.11 to access our FTP site. It will ask us to provide the username and password, which was created in our active directory. So in my case, I'm going to specify the credential to rachin.ravi at must be noob dot lab. Okay, let's enter the password. Uh, let me confirm the username. Uh, where is the saw manager? Click on tools, open active directory administrative center. Click on marketing OU. Okay, this is the user. Rashin Ravindra and UPN is Rashin.Ravi. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to the Windows 11 computer and click on log on. And simply we can see the uh, files and folders which we have created on our FTP site. So you can see the files and folders which we have created on our FTP server. Uh, you can also use FTP client like FileZilla to access the FTP server from client machine. So let me try to copy this file, uh, which is available on my computer. Uh, let's simply drag and drop it. So let's select the file and uh, let's uh, paste here. So you can see user can uh, put data from local computer to FTP service. And as well as let's try to copy this FTP file, which is available on FTP server to our local computer. I don't think so we can, uh, we just need to go for the drag and drop as well. Okay, this is how we can uh, copy paste data on FTP site. But you can also use FTP client like FileZilla to access the FTP server from client machine easily. So this is how you can install and configure FTP service on Windows Server 2022. That's the end of this lab guide. See you all in the next lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this.